So for this week, uh, I've been working on a client project here at the Vault for uh, Beaver Buzz Energy. And uh, what I've uh, come to realize is that if I want some cool 3D renders, uh, photorealistic stuff, um, you know what makes it look really nice and refreshing is having it cold. And in order to show cold, you need some sort of precipitation. And if I wanted to do it all in V-Ray and Maya and, and not have to go out to Houdini, um, I had to figure something out. So what was really cool is I went out there and after a little bit of searching, I found a cool script by uh, Mariano Antico, um, and it uses end dynamics and simulations to generate particles on a surface. So uh, we can tweak and play around with that. But the really cool thing about that particular script is that uh, it was very specific for this this uh, end result so uh, there's a lot of playing around and tweaking that you don't have to do because uh, you can kind of play around and tweak with something specific to what you want to achieve so uh, I do have a link there uh, in this article on this uh, YouTube video to be able to download that Um, it's a it's got a it's been modified to work for 2017 as well so that is good because it was um, edited in 2011 I think it was written in 2010 so um, this is a scene that I've, I've created for Beaver Buzz. Uh, I'm going to turn off the background um, cans and we're going to work with just this one. I call it Hero Can. Uh, it is uh, a couple different pieces that's all put together. So I'm going to separate that um, just because we want to put all the, uh, we want to, you know, simulate everything on here because uh, if you know anything about precipitation and, and, and condensation, it's, it, uh, kind of shows up on the thinner stuff uh, this thicker stuff it wouldn't show up as much and it wouldn't be equal so I'm just gonna kind of omit it completely um, so I'm gonna click on here um, and I'm gonna I've, I've added this mail script to my shelf here uh, called water drops it's got a lot of settings that I've kind of played around with and I've, I've come you know figured out myself uh, so um, you'll have to play around with this a lot and I'll show you kind of a way to get the results you want and and kind of go back and forth and figure out what what you're playing around with. So uh, this may work for you, may not work for you. It is very specific to my scene. Uh, This is real world scale, just because I know that dynamics work differently and lighting works differently. So I always do everything at world scale. So I think this is like six inch can, something like that, I can't remember. But anyway, here we go. Uh, so I'm just going to go, I'm going to start by clicking on the mesh, the, the main mesh that we're going to work with. And it's going to click on create driver. I think that's all the settings that I need here. It's going to do something here. It's going to ask me apply. Yes. Uh, we're going to go ahead with that. You're going to see some stuff is, is started here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do this again here. I'm going to create the sweat. Now this is the one thing that uh, creates the, the generate the most, uh, the radius I'm going to change to one, or 0.175 because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to create sweat. It's going to ask me here for a texture rate map. Um, it can be like a ramp stuff. I'm just going to hit it cancel because if I do that, it's going to generate something anyway. Uh, using the wrong map, wrong map was going to give you a result you don't want anyway. Uh, hit apply for here. Uh, and then so the next step is going to uh, to be creating water drops. And it's a really cool idea, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna select driver, and then I'm gonna click create drops, and it's gonna generate something. Um, it's really neat. Uh, I'm gonna click water trails before I continue, but uh, just so I can show you. But uh, if I press play, you're gonna see these water drops. Now they look pretty cool, but if you look into it, it's just a series of them. Now imagine how that's going to render. It's not going to be the best. So uh, with everything here, you can click on the visibility. So I'm going to turn the drops visibility off. What it does create, though, as it goes down, is small trails. Uh, you can change the size of the trails and everything that too. But I figured for all intents and purposes, that looks pretty good. It looks a little crazy. Uh, and I don't like the fact that uh, these are generated on a surface level, so they are cut right directly in half. So uh, you're seeing 50% of it stick out. I'd like a little less than that. So what I usually do is I will grab, well, put all this can back together. And then I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. And then what that's going to achieve is, uh, this is kind of a hack, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that 
those aren't sticking out as much. The smaller ones are kind of going to disappear, some of them, but that should be okay. Now you can kind of play around and see how it goes with all this. You can animate this, which is really neat. So if you want an animation of something like that, you can definitely do that. So um, because I'm using V-Ray, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my uh, hyper shade. And um, in the hyper shade, you're going to notice some stuff created. NP water blend is something that's going to be created. Now, I don't work with blends because I work with V-Ray. And I'm going to switch that directly over to a V-Ray material. Uh, and there's two things I want to add. Uh, reflection color, I don't want it to be too much. I want to do 25% gray uh, to add some reflection. And definitely refraction. I'm just going to crank that all the way up. That's going to give us a kind of a water style look. So I'm just going to name this here. Uh, let's see, V-Ray. Um, I don't know. Precipitation. Precipitation. There. Okay, so that's just going to kind of make it easier for me. And then uh, as I have it in here, I think GI is on. Yeah, overrides. Uh, what I've done for this one in particular is kind of overridden the environment and I've plugged it into an HDR map. Um, so that'll give me kind of a cool look right away. And you'll see right here once it renders. So there you go. Um, mostly rendered. So uh, you're seeing some really cool stuff there. Now, um, if you if you do play around too much with the uh, the reflection, if you to put it too high, you're gonna notice these are gonna glow a little bit more. So if you can see the um, these circles right here, you can see a little bit of reflection, but not so much that you can't see the refraction because you can see the refraction, you can see it's red underneath and everything, and in these parts you can see the the color underneath, which is really cool. Now um, that brings me back to okay, well, what if I really want these really cool um, you know, these are water droplets. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to turn the drops visibility back on and we're going to go back in and we're going to do some simulations. Now, it would be really cool to have something like that, right? But I mean, if you're going to render that out, I'm going to tell you right now that it's not going to look good. So uh, a cool little feature that you can do um, is this, uh, if you grab that, uh, we're going to go control A we're gonna have the uh, the water drops particle shape, and you can do this all of them because I mean you can see these two um, these two balls here get really close together because of um, the way water works and um, surface tension. Uh, as soon as those get close to each other and they touch, they're actually going to merge as one. So you're gonna have to see like a meta ball type of thing. You're never gonna see that in real life. And this here, just not not gonna look like that. So uh, there's a cool little feature you can do here on modify. You can actually convert um, n particles to polygons. Now you're gonna know some disappear, which is well, you know, it's kind of alarming. But uh, what you want to do is you want to go down into the uh, particle shape, the water drops n particle shape, and you're gonna look uh, open up the rollout for output mesh. Um, this is where you're gonna be able to play around. Uh, threshold. I'm going to play around with uh, blobby radius. I can see a little bit more popping out. I'm going to play around with the thresholds. Um, definitely what you want to do is want to play around with the uh, smoothing a bit. Just a bit. Um, triangle mesh. Yeah, here uh, mesh triangle size. I'm going to do a little bit less. Um, so you're still kind of getting that. You can play around with a little bit of these settings so that you can get it and then um what is it here yeah what i could do as little bit of that as we can what is it one point what's it 1.0 no kind of mess around until you have something that looks all right now um threshold kind of gets something yeah it's, it's going to be a little bit of playing around with especially if you're like me but uh it looks a little less blobby. It, it all depends on when you render it out. It kind of looks like tree sap, but we'll see. Um, another thing is that you'll 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 be amazed to see that uh, it still renders. So you can see that um, you're gonna see this little bit here. So you could 
probably just play around with that. But again, uh, what you're going to be able to do with each one of these is you're going to be able to oh, actually here take a look at this, and we're going to go into Hypershade, and I'm going to um, I'm going to apply this geo the uh, what I named earlier the V-ray precipitation. You're going to get that as well. Can't really see it though, can you? Um, Apparently it's there now. There you go. Yeah. So, um, what I'd recommend is just kind of kind of mess around with it there, and then do a render on that as well. Like I mean, here I'm gonna quickly turn uh, GI off so I can get a 10 second render rather than 12 minute, and then we'll get to see what that looks like. So, uh, yeah, you can play around uh, a bit if you want to keep these little blobby things going um, you can see it there so it's really neat that uh, you can kind of play around with that but I would go in there and manually change uh, everything so that you can make it look more realistic um, because again uh, you're never gonna have these two balls students like I'm kind of sitting there not not doing it uh, or not uh, not connecting and being one. So um, yeah, get in there, play around just to get that uh, better look. Like this here, you can see that looks a lot better than the blobby um, additive. Like when you have multiple um, multiple objects uh, that close together that all have refraction on it, you're gonna see this real nasty dark patch uh i would i would well, should have tried it out to, to show you guys what it looks like but yeah get all that in there blob it all together uh you can convert each in, in individual one you go into your outliner um and then you find each one of these uh you know the drops and then you do the sweat and you do that and you can convert them using the modify you can do each and every one of those modifying playing around with settings until you can get something really decent looking for your client or or for whatever reason you're doing it and then when i'm done i'm just going to turn gil back on um i'm going to go in here and i'm going to uh you know put the bg cans on there play with my physical camera that i've got set up here um i've got a physical uh you know physical camera with some depth of field and no motion blur because i don't need it but uh once you get into there you can get some really really realistic uh, things going on if you're playing around and you know this is it's actually really really neat so um yeah so if anybody has any questions or anything like that um you know uh just send me a message send me a note and then we'll, we'll kind of go over what that is and uh and we'll see from there